Otso Berg, the big star of the Anime Training Program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh, your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool. A weapon. A plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! by every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. The modern day Assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them and kill them. But it is not enough for them to die. What happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript! Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. plan is in motion. I have 
no further demands to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Nupskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. The Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him. Charles Dorian.
Lorna. <laughs> I'm Lorna. Ellie. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? You... You're the traitor. I'm just finishing old business. Oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. And perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand, never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death. Whatever the cost, this is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shea Cormac's memories has served us well. Shea's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse. Refuse.